anyone that's looking for peace in life, anyone that's looking for joy and happiness in life, my advice to them would be to spend time alone. My advice would be to sit in solitude and enjoy your own company. Because for me, that's where I felt the most peace in my life. It's when I spent time alone and sat with myself in solitude. That's where I felt the most happiness in life. That's why I felt the most love in my life is when I spent those times alone because there's so many other outlets to receiving that love and feeling love. There's so many more other outlets to feeling that peace. There's so many other outlets to feeling that joy and happiness in life. You know, you have friends that can make you happy. You have family members that can make you feel at peace. You have significant others that can make you feel loved and when you have so many other outlets to help you feel that peace, love, and happiness inside, like, you begin to always seek that love from those people. You begin to always seek that peace from those people. You begin to seek that happiness from those people. And... I sometimes make that mistake as well. Like I'm currently going through a um a breakup right now myself and like I'm literally in those moments where like when I'm not feeling love, when I'm not feeling peace, when I'm not feeling happy, what I want to go do is text that significant other, text my ex, text that person that was making me feel love, that was making me feel happy, that was making me feel peace. And it's also like I'm at that I'm at a um, point in my life of understanding that, like, I can't rely on other people for my own peace. I can't rely on other people for my own joy, for my own happiness, for my own love. So that's why whenever I'm feeling unloved, whenever I'm feeling, like, unhappy or anything like that, I just sit in solitude. I'll meditate. I'll go play basketball. I'll go do something I love and enjoy doing that makes me feel peace, that makes me feel love, that makes me feel happy. And the more that I do those things, the more that I spend time with myself, the more that I sit in solitude, the more I'm getting back in touch with that peace that's already inside of me. The more I'm getting back in touch with that happiness, with that joy that's already inside of me, rather than relying on other people and things to make me feel that way inside. And that's honestly the key to everything. That's honestly the key to taking back control of your life. Because the more you're reliant upon other people and things, the more you're reliant upon external things to make you feel happy inside, to make you feel that peace inside, to make you feel joy inside, that's the more miserable you're going to be. Because what are you going to do when that person isn't available to make you feel loved? What are you going to do when that thing isn't available to make you feel peace? What are you going to do when that thing, person, place, or thing isn't available to make you feel happy? If all you're doing is relying on external things to make you feel those emotions, then you're going to live a miserable, mis miserable, I can't even get it out. You're going to live a miserable life because those things aren't going to be there for your every want and need in every moment. You may need peace right now in this moment. And if that thing isn't available, what are you going to do? You may need love right now in this moment. If that thing, person, place, or thing isn't available, what are you going to do? It's okay to have external things add to that peace you already feel, add to that happiness you already feel, add to that love you already feel. But it's not okay for you to not feel any of those things as an individual and then seek those things outside of you. Because that's what leads to addictions. And once you're addicted to something externally, that's what's going to lead to that that aggression. That's, gonna, that's what's going to lead to that attitude. Because now you're getting mad at someone outside of you for not helping you feel peace. Like, how can you get mad at someone else for not helping you feel some kind of way that you want to feel? That person isn't you. That person isn't responsible for how you feel. Only you are responsible for that. So... Again, man, my advice for anyone that's unhappy in life, that isn't at peace in life, that, you know, wants to feel more love, like, just sit in solitude, bro. Sit with yourself and 
and like just do things you enjoy doing do things alone things that you like love doing i don't care if it's video games i don't care if it's sports i don't care if it's watching movies i don't care if it's cleaning <laughs> i don't care i don't know or care what it is things that you enjoy doing get back in the habit of doing those things alone and of course, at first, it's going to be uncomfortable because you're used to having someone by your side when doing that. That's natural. That's something you're not used to because you spent, you spent months and years doing it with this person that you've been with. But that's not the case anymore. So you got to find comfort in that uncomfortable feeling of going on a walk alone, of watching a movie on your own, of like reading a book on your own, like whatever the case may be. And I don't want to miss, make this video too long, so I'm going to just leave it at that. Make sure you like and share this video if someone who needs to hear this. And subscribe to this channel for more. Send in peace, send in love, send in blessings as always. Elevate.